destination will be on the right. Your destination is on the right. Obviously, all the normal stuff, everything stored, but I've got this uh, this cheap camp bed. Um, I think it's about 30 quid or something. And um, what I've done is I've stuffed all my riding clothes underneath there so that I can, uh, so it'll insulate me from the ground. And hopefully what happened in Wales won't happen where water got in through, presumably through the cheapy ground sheet thing here. Um, so I'm hoping that that'll be all right. Apart from that, we've got boots, tranger, just the normal stuff um, if we come in here different coloured bags so I know what's got what in it toiletries pannier the other panniers out there oh and this is a fleece sleeping bag in case I'm cold so this is only a three season and I've got here a silk sleeping bag liner so if I'm super cold I can wear all three and that's supposed to be the one that's super comfortable and warm and cool so and of course if it's really hot I can just use that on its own all or whatever and I can use the fleece one as a blanket as well as uh, a sleeping bag so I can open up the sleeping bag and that and effectively have like a duvet on top of me and a blank comfortable blanket underneath right so that's enough of that for now I think we're going over to um, see what food is on offer Follow us, so I can get revenge. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe in them. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, thank you. Right. Uh, thanks. That was horrible, that sliding mud. I was just driving, recording you, then you got nothing happened, I just drove off. I looked in my mirror and I see you on the glass, I'm like, shit, I could have got that. Twice! Who's <laughs> <laughs> falling off? <laughs> You're right, Sam. How are your feet? Are they dry? No. No, I definitely felt water trickling down my, inside of my boot. So we've got an emergency rescue service going on here. It was rainy, it was muddy, and brakes uh, locked up. And yeah, I know. Front brake, back brake, which one locked? Both of them. Both of them. <laughs> yeah, you want to avoid the front brake, I guess, in the slippy stuff. That was properly slippy, wasn't it? That was like ice stuff. But you fell as well. The chalk. So here's, uh, here's Man to the Rescue, I don't know his name. Um, but he's got he's got what looks like a proper proper set of bars. They'll do the trick, won't they? They're the only colour they have. I'll ring snap on, yeah. No, no, they're just to make it easy to here and completely solid, let me see the scar. I know he's it's imperial so it's practically bigger. Which will be handy because it'll give a bit of I'll do the TRF on it, All right, as you can see by this uh, red line here, we started off in uh, Wiltshire and near a place called Pusey. And this is the campsite just appearing here. And this is going to be a very quick tour, I think one and a half thousand times the speed that we actually did it, um, of our um, big afternoon ride out around, um, out around the kind of Wiltshire countryside. As you can see, we started off on roads. This is all road stuff. Not quite sure why the red line's not clamped to the ground properly. Um, and then before too long, after we'd kind of got used to riding as a group, and uh, going along the roads we got up onto here which is Salisbury Plain which is where the tanks and all that military kind of practice happens but I, I guess whoever organised it worked out the roads that we're allowed to use the places that we're allowed to go to and all that kind of stuff as you can see it's a bit hilly um, but a fantastic time was had by all it, despite all the rain and water and mess that we kind of came across which made it all a bit difficult um, and uh, quite a lot of people fell off, me included. And um, I think I fell off three times in all. You see, you've seen all that on the video, I'm sure. Twice in quick succession, then a bit later on a, on a, a sort of um, chalky lane. It turns out that chalk is an absolute nightmare um, if it's wet. It's all right in the dry, I guess, but um, I don't know. I didn't experience it in the dry. Um, but it's super slippy like ice uh, was the way that it was generally referred to. Um, and uh, we got back, we repaired um, uh, Sam's handlebars as you saw somebody went off and got a new set at short notice which was just fantastic the way everyone clubbed together to help him out and um, and then we just had a few drinks in the evening chatted to one another and uh, had, a, had a great time I met a guy called Alan who was Welsh and that was really handy because he was able to give me loads of tips on how to deal with the um, or you know places to go in Wales which was where I was heading off next um, and uh, so I'll show all that on the next video. Now I'm just going to show you here. This is where we kind of decided to to give up. We got to this point here, um, and um, you see that steep hill. Obviously, we decided not to tackle that because um, it's actually quite steep up chalk in the wet, and a lot of people falling off. So we just headed down this track here, um, all the way back to to this farm, and then we were on roads all the way out. Unfortunately, somewhere on this track was where Sam fell off. So. <laughs> Talk about doing well until the last minute, and then he fell off and uh, damaged his um, handlebars. Right, there are links um, here to various um, other places where you might find videos of this kind of stuff. Um, and 
enjoy those they're also links down below in the description thanks for watching and um, I hope that you not only watch but subscribe and have a look at the um, the videos that are to come there's the Welsh tour and then of course there's Banky Barn weekend the following weekend okay